1430 KRGI. Good morning. It's 9.05. I'm Brian Gallagher. We get to talk about making some plans for either you or your family. Steve Irwin's come by from Desh Payne Memorials to talk about something. It's our monthly visit to, well, you know, make sure that that memory is lasting for members of your family. And so we're going to talk today about bench memorials. Tell me more about that. All right. Okay, the first benches we're going to talk about, Brian, there's uh, a limestone bench and, and granite bench. We call them garden benches. They're smaller in size usually. They can be three feet long to three and a half feet long. Most of them are three feet, and most of them are shaped like a peanut and uh, are also kind of oblong oval type bench. So they're shaped a little different than normal benches are, and uh, they're not that tall either they're 20 inches tall so those are kind of made for the garden area Uh, the second style of bench we're going to talk about these are all granite benches and they're just a straight rectangular shaped bench you can get them finished different ways you can have it all polished all the legs the two legs are all polished or you can get the legs rough and that's the main difference Uh, the those style of benches are 48 to 42 inches long so they're a little bit longer and those are generally uh, sandblasted with names and dates and some design on there if they want Uh, and then in keeping with that style of bench there's also one that we call a pedestal bench and it's the same shape it's rectangular shaped and it's usually 48 inches long but underneath it instead of having legs it's a whole body of granite underneath that and then the top of that uh, body, which we call the pedestal, is cored out or can be cored out. It's not always cored out. And you can put anywhere from two to four cremains in there. So there's a canister to, that goes down in the core hole. It's got a lid on it. And uh, you put the cremains in there and then you put the seat back on top. And this style of bench is also lettered. And uh, that pedestal portion, you can put some design on that too. You've got a lot of room to sandblast on that. So. It's a, a little bit different. Okay. And then you also have something that you call park style? Yeah. Um, you got the frog that I had last time, don't you? Yeah. Um, yes, the, the park style bench. Uh, and the park style bench has a back to it. It's got a little bit of a different shape to it. Um, and it's generally uh, four feet long. And the total height is 30 inches. So it's quite a bit taller. And uh, the... It has a back, and the back can be lettered, and it's usually lettered, or the seat can be lettered too, either one. And these benches are all polished, and we have them in two colors, gray and black. And these uh, benches, the park benches, are designed to go several places. They can go into a park and go into a golf course, might be sitting at some tee box, uh, go to a church, And, of course, it can be put in the cemetery. Um, We did have one family that he belonged to two golf clubs, one in Albion and one in Fullerton. So each one of those golf courses got a park bench in his memory. So So he's keeping an eye on everybody He's keeping an eye on everybody at two different golf courses, yes. (laughs) So, (laughs) so, uh, and again, this this style of bench, there's only two colors, uh, uh, gray and black. And if it's going to be out in the sun... Such as, uh, you know, a lot of golf courses, there, there might, there's trees there, but if it's out in an open area, we suggest gray because of the heat. Uh, if you have a black bench, it'll absorb that heat. So, We're talking with Steve Irwin from Desh Payne Memorials about some of the bench memorials that are available. And when we started to talk about this, uh, the first question that came to my mind is, are you seeing more of these benches appear in cemeteries? We are seeing more, uh, not necessarily in cemeteries so much. There, there's a few of them that go out in the cemeteries, but this park bench is real popular now, and we're seeing it placed in different locations. If you go to the Eagle Park, this was called up north. Scout Lake, Eagle Scout Lake. E- e- yeah, that one. There's several benches along there as you walk along there. Now, most of them are made of cement, uh, but that's where these benches are going, and and the golf course and parks are the main place that they're going to but we have seen um, a couple of occasions where people instead of having a normal 
uh, monument they've gone to a bench in the cemetery. And otherwise, if they do have cremains, maybe you have a garden area at your home. You can put that inside of the garden area, and it really becomes a lasting tribute. Exactly, yeah. So that's what those, that's what those garden benches are, is just kind of a, a memorial at the home in, in uh, memory of their loved one. Okay. So If folks are interested in this in regards to designs or lettering or timetable expense, how can they get a hold of you? Uh, they can call us. Our local number is 384 384- Two four two two. There's an eight hundred number. That's eight hundred eight two five five seven eight three. And our address is three eight zero five Old Potash, which is west of Anderson Ford, about three blocks. And the final thing I want to say, Brian, is that we're we are going to have an open house uh, the end of this month. I haven't set the dates yet for it, but it'll be Wednesday through Saturday. And we'll have additional advertisement on your local radio station, KRGI, right here. Yeah. and also in the local newspaper, The Independent. So uh, kind of keep an eye on that and an ear for that. Keep an ear on the radio. We'll help yes. you out with that. All right. Steve Irwin, thanks for coming by. Mm, thanks, Brent.